What's going on people? Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Our eggs are under attack, food distribution problems, oil shortages, or manufactured, so to say, uh, drilling permits being cancelled, all kind of pipelines being blown up, all kinds of logistic problems, shipping problems. They want us to eat fake meat. It keeps going on and on and on. And it's a war at every angle. It's an attack on every angle. And it's from our logistics to our transport to our fabrication, even our chemical plants. Let's take a look at what's going on with our chemical plants. Fire burns a chemical plant in Sydney, Australia. So we got this one. Um, we posted this yesterday. I know it's showing today's date, February 28th, but this was yesterday in Australia. And we got people on the ground there that will come on Mike of the Night and, and report. A fire at a chemical plant threatened to, uh, to collapse a cooling tower, pushing fears of a significant fire and explosion, according to local Sydney, Australia news resources. New Zealand. Eight days ago, firefighters respond to chemical leak at Auckland warehouse. Workers evacuated. So workers have been evacuated from a chemical manufacturing warehouse in East Auckland this morning after a chemical spill. And the standard from Canada, St. Catharines, to hold community meeting about the Port Weller chemical plant fire. That was February. That was four or five days ago. And that was in Canada. No one heard an explosion at, and fire at chemical plant in Geneva. So that was February 9th. So more and more things are being sabotaged, and this is all being done by man. No one, no one was hurt during the explosion and fire chemical plant at Geneva's near West Side Tuesday afternoon. Fatal explosion and fire at chemical plants in China. This one was swept under the rug. This was at the, at the mid, mid to end January of 2023. Five dead, a further eight missing, 30 more injured in a Panjin Hayu chemical plant there. So there it is right there. And massive fire at Illinois' chemical plant contained no injuries reported January 11th. And fire erupts a chemical plant in India. This one was actually a big one, February 13th. A fire chemical plant, I can't read that, in India was reported when a tolin and solvent was being loaded into a reactor at the plant. So there it is right there. Fire causes chemical spill in Masu Masakuna Creek. Horrendo, I think that's Mississippi mayor, uh, says water pH levels are now normal. So according to Mayor Chip... Johnson, uh, this is, is this, yeah, this should be, it should be Mississippi. I think I, yeah, Mississippi. Um, large fire erupts at LaSalle Chemical Plant. And after the fire began on Wednesday morning, uh, chemical and LaSalle officials sent emergency alert uh, advising people to, who live in the city's third and fourth wards. So there it is right there. Chemical disaster will keep, Will will chem chemical disasters will keep happening? So they're kind of throwing this out you on the hill, telling you that this will keep going. So this is um, in East Palestine, Ohio, that we already covered on the channel. Fire and explosions rip through uh, Omaha chemical plant, uh, prompting temporary evacuations. And this was in late 2020 uh, or uh, mid 2022. Sorry, that was May 2022. Sorry. So a blaze that sparked explosions and burned part of the chemical plant in Nebraska's most populous city Monday is no longer a threat to the public, a fire officials saying Tuesday morning. Fire breaks out in, at South Korea GEO, geo Cetric plant in Lu, Lusnan, injuring seven. So there it is right there. And that was in late uh, 2022. But we're seeing this pattern. Fire, risk of explosion, prompting evacuation near Georgia Chemical Plant, November 7, 2022. So there it is right there. And the people that were going to go out to investigate, these fine young men that were going to go investigate what was happening in um, in East Palestine there in, 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 in Ohio, died in a plane crash. Twin engine Beach B B E twenty crashed near Bill and Hillary Clinton's National Airport in Little Rock, Arkansas, shortly after takeoff. So they were going over to five co-workers were killed in a twin engine plane crash shortly after takeoff in Arkansas. Uh, Valley consultants were on their way to probe the molten metal explosion in Ohio. All under attack. It's all and now if we can't fabricate certain parts to fix things, we're gonna start to see a breakdown in the assembly line of life, of the assembly line of 
you know, use, use, you, being able to go on Amazon and ordering a water pump for your car or ordering uh, certain parts to repair a lawnmower at the house is going to be proven more difficult. And they're going to be shoving this green energy crap down your throats. And they're shutting down more and more automotive manufacturing plants so they can replace them with electric stuff that we don't even have the lithium ion in the ground uh, to power all these vehicles that they want to power and how dirty and dangerous it is to unearth that stuff. And the amount of resins and oils that need to be unearthed to make all the plastics and rubbers to make these vehicles. They're not looking at those. But this is what's happening. We are at war at every front. Our healthcare is at war. Our food's at war. Everything's at manipulation. Everything is under attack. So if you think we aren't, open your eyes, folks. Now, the chemical plants are very serious because we're getting reports of a lot of things happening on the ground in Ohio where people are starting to lose their voices or people are starting to notice their skin is melting. People are starting to notice that Things aren't normal anymore. So people are starting to slowly evacuate that area. The Biden administration, I think, did a Zoom meeting, and that's about it. And, yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to get too far into this because I don't want to get my channel banned. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check us out on Odyssey and Rumble. Check us out on Mike in the Night, call-in show. Call in, be part of the show, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Chemical plants, what is next? Next video... I promise, guys, I'll tell you what they're coming for next, what I believe they're going to be coming for next. I'll tell you in the next video what the next culprit will or the next thing they're going to come after. There's two things I have in mind. I'll let you know then. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.